I think everybody knows that the spending power generally is the top four of the Premier League these days. I think it's very difficult to break into the top mm. four based on if you haven't got the same spending power as them, it's, it's difficult. And lots of us have lived on the fringes in the past. Um, I did the same at Bolton for, mm. the, for the last two or three years. And uh, to try and get there was, a, was something that would have been beyond the club's uh, or the owner's will at the time for the spending power that you'd need to perhaps uh, find or fund for it. So uh, for, for, the, for us this season, it's just enjoying the position we're in and seeing at the end of January whether we reset our own goals and say, can we finish in the top six? Is it possible? If we're going to finish in the top six, then we're going to have to recalculate our lads uh, our lads' presentation to show them what they're going to have to do between now and the end of the season to, to finish there. Mm. Um, uh, but obviously at this moment in time, you know, if we carry on the way we are, you know, we're predicted a top four finish. But whether we will or whether we won't, another matter. A the, the, lot, of, lot of West Ham fans asking, of course, Steve, Andrew Crowley, do you think you're going to get money in January to try and strengthen? Do you think you need to? Well, I think everybody has to understand that, that we're well in to the second year of financial fair play or financial restrictions. So we all are in a much more difficult position when every window comes mm. on the limited of spending power, not just transfer fees, but wages today. And that's across the board now. So when it comes to January, it's not that, you know, ask the owners to go and find you know, this amount of money or that amount of money, even if they wanted to. Uh, they could perhaps do it, but at the end of the season, they may, may well end up with a pretty hefty fine. So we've got those restrictions. So I, I would say, say one top player, if he became available, um, would, be, would be something that we'd pursue. But maybe somebody would have to leave to fund or help Facilitate fund that it, yeah. player. Uh, and I think that there's no point in bringing anybody less than a top player because what we've got now is top drawer at the minute. We've got 22 players who are all fighting for places in the team who are playing really, really well. So if it was... Is there a, a position player, you would you would potentially be looking at? Uh, not, not, not really. I think we've covered all positions yeah. this year. I mean, you know, we've never had as many front men. Um, we've changed the system, so we don't need our, uh, too many wide men. If we want to go back to 4-3-3, uh, three, three, we've got it ample in, um, in the positions, that, in mm. the players that we've got. They're all eager to get a chance to get in and, and the ones who are in at the minute keep the shirt um, because they know they have to play the best because the ones waiting to take the place mm. are eager to do that. So, so at the moment the squad looks, you know, really tight, good, good camaraderie and uh, uh, if somebody came in January that was a, an outstanding player then... You'd go for them. Uh, yes. You